How you doing Pisces? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Pisces, make sure you stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, look at this already. There's so much abundance. You got the Two of Cups and the Lover's card. Need I say more? Like, take a look at both these cards. What is it about? Heart coherence, trust, loving yourself and having others love you, your kindred spirit, your soulmate, waiting to enter your life. And the key word, waiting for you, right? You may feel like you're waiting for them, but they are waiting for you. They're waiting for us to really be in a, a, a energy that's in harmony with them. So right now, ask yourself this, who is your soulmate? What time do they wake up? Early? Well, let's do that. What do they eat? Organic, healthy foods? Let's do that. What do they think about? You know, positive thoughts? That's the same energy we gotta match. You manifest who you are, not what you want. And I do see here that whoever this person is, they are very confident. They seem to have their, uh, their, their finances mastered. And they also seem to be someone who's very ambitious, charismatic, and a go-getter. Like they don't take no for an answer. And I do see here that they're entrepreneurs, so they could be starting their own business, or they could be someone who has mastered like their, their, their career, like a CEO. But I do see here that they don't take no for an answer and the energy that they bring to the table is their energy itself. And I see here that what you bring to the table is the fact that you are a beautiful spiritual being filled with unconditional love and your spiritual powers is what's so attractive to them, right? The fact that you are watching this reading lets me know that you understand what spirit, source energy, creator, quantum entanglement, like you understand what magic is, right? Quantum, spiritual, and, and mystical. And this energy to them is very attractive. So understand that what you bring to the table is your spirituality. So double down, triple down, invest in that and really focus your awareness on really mastering this energy. Now you also have the chariot and you have the eight of wands. So I do see here that there is some sort of pivotal change happening for you. I do see here that in order for things to get a whole lot better, we have to change our energy because when we change our energy, we change our life. And I do see here that going down the path of least resistance is what spirit wants you to follow through right now. So if you feel like someone in your life right now is causing you to second guess yourself, doubt yourself in a, in a way where you don't feel like it's natural or organic, now's the time to audit that relationship. Or if you feel like right now you're having a hard time having trusting yourself, that means we don't have heart coherence and now it's time to audit that belief. But going down the path of least resistance, not trying to effort, force, grind, make it happen, but instead just going down with the where the universe takes us, right? So if the universe wants you to, you know, have a job where it is closer to work, closer to closer to home, and it may pay a smidgen less, but there's a lot of potential to grow, follow through with that. Or if the universe wants you to date someone that makes you smile and laugh rather than someone that, you know, is all serious, follow through with that. Because I see here with Koala Spirit, that Spirit has a plan for you, something big, and your angels and guides are waiting to deliver this energy into your life, but they're just waiting for us to be ready. And that's what really happens. It's like, again, we're waiting for the universe, but the universe is always waiting for us. And I do see here that by instilling excellent habits in your life, by focusing on not can, what can go wrong, but what can go right, and really being in love with spending time with yourself, right? Putting yourself in a position to be able to get downloads, get messages from your angels and guides telling you what to do. And those messages only come when we're out of the third dimensional energy of fear, but back into the fifth and seventh dimensional energy of abundance, right? Being grateful. Because whenever there's fear, anxiety, whenever we're comparing ourselves to social media, which is the thief of joy, whenever we're forcing everything grind that's when we're causing resistance and you will never ever ever get a download from spirit when you are resisting it doesn't work that's the reason why the majority of people on planet earth are not you know spiritually where they want to be and financially because spiritually physical uh, uh, financial it's all quantum entangled so you cannot try to make it happen and that's brainwashing that we've been gone th gone through in our life for example like when i was growing up they always told me to be serious be serious about money be serious serious about work be serious about relationships you're gonna get married be serious or oh, you're buying a house mortgage be serious yeah right that's resistance and that, it took a lot of auditing my beliefs
beliefs to be able to let go of that energy. And now by auditing my beliefs, everything starts making sense. Now I understand that what resists persists. What persists is something that is not really a, a, a shadow that is a limiting belief that's not been brought to my attention, that's deep down in my subconscious. And by understanding that by changing my energy, I was able to change my life, this really brought in a lot of new opportunities. And the fact that you have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands lets you know that there's a lot of new opportunities waiting to manifest for you here, but there are also a lot of things that we're holding on to. And the things that we're holding on to are causing these limiting beliefs or shadows. So the moment we let go of this energy, that's when we can take the blindfold off and the fear and anxiety preventing our intuition from shining will actually dissipate, right? So ask yourself this, what have you been doing that's been working? Great, do more of it. But what have you been doing that's not been working? Now is the time to audit that energy. For example, maybe you're like, I've been going to work and I've been trying to get this promotion and I bust my butt and my boss does not appreciate me, love me, respect me. And now is the time to maybe ask yourself, is it a time to start a side hustle? Maybe it's time to you know pivot and change choice. Maybe it's time to go back to school and further enhance our education. What is it that we can do differently to create this change? And I see here that you have rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. So right now is the time to persevere. Understand that there's so many good things that are going to manifest for you, but don't be putting yourself in a position to be looking at the outcome, right? Don't try to tell yourself, I will be happy when I get that promotion. For example, tell yourself, I am loving the journey and the process. And by focusing your awareness on that, it's like everything seems to get a whole lot easier. So focus your awareness on really loving to uh, learn to love the journey. And this is something I had to work on as well when it came to my Amazon businesses. I told myself, I want to make sure I have the number one product in every category. And if I didn't have it, I was upset. But the moment I told myself, as long as I am confident and happy with the effort I'm putting into something because that's the only thing you have have a control over is the effort that you put into something and as long as I'm confident that I gave it my all that everything will work itself out I noticed that that really cleared the way and that really opened up a lot of doors for me and I do see here for you as well with the moon and the emperor that there is also someone here with that emperor energy that is making you feel powerless. This could be a coworker, this could be a, a, someone that you're in a relationship with, or this could be even your ego. And it's making you feel as if, you know, there is something constantly wrong in your life. And this is a time to really kick this person to the curb, right? Like this is a time to not at all negotiate with this energy. And you do that, not physically, you do that emotionally. You tell them and yourself that I am no longer going to think about you. That's all it is. If you want to take your power back, if you want to take your awareness back, all you have to do is stop thinking about that person. When you stop, when you take your, when you stop thinking about them, you take your awareness back. When you take your awareness back, you take your energy back. When you take your energy back, that's when you have your power. So tell yourself, I am no longer thinking about you. And right now, understand that that same energy that you were giving to them, you can utilize and invest in yourself. All right, Pisces, final message from the universe for Pisces. Ah, universe, final message for Pisces, please. What should Pisces know? And right now, the message is laughter. Look at that. That is exactly how you raise your vibration, laughter. And the message is number 47 too. Beautiful number, four and seven. So laughter breaks up stagnant energy, gets things moving, and helps relax you. Laughter is a powerful antidote to stress, pain, and conflict. Nothing works faster or more dependently to bring, bring your mind and body back into balance than a good laugh. Humor lightens up your burdens, inspires hope, and connects you to others, and keeps you grounded, focused, and alert. Why is that? Why is the universe telling you to focus on laughter right now? When you are laughing, the last thing you are is serious, right? When you are serious, that is the quickest way to lower your frequency. I'll give you an example. No one wants to be around nothing serious. For example, like, do you want to date someone serious? Someone that's like, I'm picking you up at three, you better be ready, Ugh, right? Or imagine doing business with someone. Someone that's like, oh, you better not make a mistake. Oh, what the heck? You'd be running away from that. So the exact opposite of that, or the war Sun Tzu, right, is laughter. Do the exact opposite of what your enemy wants. Your enemy wants you to be, you know, serious, be silly, laugh, joy, peace, love, unity, passion, compassion, all the words that sounded good because they all have a high vibration that comes when you are smiling, laughing. One trick I like to use is when I write an email, I smile before I write it. 
my energy changes. When I pick up the phone, I'm already smiling. My entire tone, my energy, my body language, everything changes. And laughter, which is love, brings happiness, joy, and abundance, which brings romance and wealth afterwards. So focus on laughing and watch everything change. All right, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Till next time, honor your soul.